top 10 NFL rookie uh, breakout rookies for this season. What? We made a list. What? We're making lists. We made a list. <laughs> Checking it twice. All right, top 10 NFL breakout rookies. Let's start at number 10. Felix and Adike Uzoma from Kansas, Kansas State. Kansas State. Oh. Ah, da, 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 da. Now it's his change up. Yeah. Hey, he's replacing uh, replacing Frank Clark now with the Chiefs. Yeah. Starting at defensive end. These are impact yeah. players, people that we really think are going to have an impact. You look at uh, upside George Koloftis, the guy who really loved at Purdue, turned into a really good pro. I, I think what you're going to, he's going to get a lot of, of he's not going to get chipped a lot, especially early. He's going to have a chance to go one on one with a lot of tackles, kind of feel his way through it. I think this guy really has a chance to come in and make an impact. And you play on a team that's going to be playing in a lot of big games, especially down the stretch. So you have opportunities to make an impact, right? Like an asteroid that's on mm -hmm. course. I love it. Next one up, Quentin Johnston yeah. from TCU. Yeah. Another Big 12 guy I mean, with the Chargers now. Well, you see, too, and, and again, I, I think he's got a little more wiggle than what people give him credit for. Uh, I, he Look, he's a big vertical ball, big jump ball guy. But with the injuries that Keenan Allen's mm -hmm. had and Mike Williams has had, this gives a, another guy a chance to go in there. And let's say they're both healthy. You're looking at the third option. He's not getting doubled. In an, off in an offense that's going to be electric. That's Justin exactly right. With a quarterback that now has a contract that's comfortable, that, that made it to that second one, uh, I think he's a guy, too, in the red zone, that when you get that safety that's shading over to help that corner with Mike Williams, or they're worried about Keenan Allen, who can line up in multiple spots, I think you may get a lot of one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. We just talked about one-on-one -on -one with Uzoma there at defensive end. It's the same thing out wide at wide receiver. Don't be shocked if you get a lot of fade balls going to number one right there. Extremely talented, especially, you know, Justin Herbert coming along. Their receiver room. Strong hands. Nice. Good. It's nice. I mean, nice. Keenan's kind of going out the door. If Mike Williams can stay healthy with his back, which seems every year seems aggravated. Eckler's back. All Eckler's those problems back. are like over you now. You have the yeah, Palmer, who's extremely good. So, like, he can, because most of those top guys are going to get what? They're going to get the doubles, yeah. right? So, QJ, especially. Can't double guys. everybody. Red zone, problem. Yep, can't double He's everybody. He's a big possession guy. Like, that's the thing to me. You add a big possession guy with Justin Herbert throwing you the ball. Kind of like, it's kind of like what Travis Kelsey Well, Kelsey yeah, well, well what shoot, I like, you know? too, is he can go up and get it, and he can go down yeah. and get it. And you don't see that from a lot of big guys. Love it. Next one up. Man, this guy might have the best season out of all of them. A -chain. Von A Chain. Yeah. The, the report got out of camp. The, re the report out of camp in Miami is that he's just electrifying. Well, I remember watching him at Texas A&M. You know, everybody always talked about his speed, and he is a, a world class, has world class speed. But I, he wasn't a track guy that played football. He's a football guy that can run he's track. Really he's bad, strong yeah. through contact. He rolls his hips. He makes football movements, and he's not just a straight line guy. I think that's the difference. I think he's a guy you can throw the check down to. I think he's a guy you can throw the speed sweep to. And look at the speed that the Dolphins have on the field. Tyreek Hill, Waddle. Jalen Waddle, Devin A. Chain. It's basically an F1 race down there in Miami. Now, Tua is AKA, AKA Mr. Potato Head. He just kind of not. You know. Dude, jiu-jitsu, dude, he's good. Yeah. Well, and you were talking about running back rooms. Listen to this one. You got Raheem Mostert still in Miami. Yep, tall back. Jeff Wilson Jr., who also came over, I think, from uh, San Francisco, right? Yep. And now Devon A-Chain. That's solid. But again, A-Chain, you can line him up in the slot. and, and he Well, can... yeah, the, like the kid, you can go with the Texas St. Indies, man. You can touch not touch him in a phone booth. Yeah. His jump step is disgusting. Yeah, it is. And not only that, he in special teams, too. Yeah. Yeah, he returned punts. Like, but he... imagine having him... Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle out on the field at the same time. Sucks. I mean, How do you game plan? Yeah. How do you game plan against that? Yeah, it's like watching the cars keep move. a quarterback even healthy. in front of you. Fast and Furious Nine. Yeah, family. I was watching the first one last night. There's the first one. The Fast and the Furious. There yeah. was one that started it all. Wow. Yeah. And I can't it didn't even have a number by it. So these guys haven't got arrested yet. To be honest. Uh, yeah, all right. I've been arrested yet. Next one up. Let's go to the uh, Philadelphia Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah. Jalen Carter. Yep. Snap it. And a lot of this, too, isn't just that Jalen Carter is an absolute animal. It's, it's that he Everyone has so much talent good. around him that, that you get a chance to go in there. And you get to learn from guys that have had a ton of success. I mean, you go, you go down uh, the list of the Eagles, you know, defensive players in general. And this isn't just uh, on the defensive line. I mean, look at N'Kobe Dean. No, look at, there are three levels. Is this yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I mean, they're so deep. And don't forget about the mountain. The Mountain Jordan Davis. You got Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter and the Kobe team. Bro, they just, again, they just put Jordan's defense out. Great decision. Yeah. 
Next one up, then, another explosive offense uh, with the Lions, Jameer Gibbs, mm -hmm. coming out of Alabama, who transferred from, from Georgia Tech for that last season. Uh, now, um, looks like he may be running back one in front of David Montgomery, who also came in. We just talked about Jamal Williams uh, took off yeah. for the Saints. How do you think that running back room is going to shake out? Well, you know, I think Jameer Gibbs may end up, as crazy as it sounds, taking as many snaps at wide receiver as he does at running back. Um, when you say wide receiver, you mean slot? The slot. The slot. I think motioning him out, doing things like that. I, I think the reason they drafted him is not just to turn around and hand him the ball. I think in this system, with what they three down back. With, with what they with what they want to do, I think you're going to see a lot of empty out of the lines. Hmm. They're going to get in ten, even eleven personnel. Right? Hell, you can get an empty out of twelve personnel. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of empty. They're going to let the gumball smuggler Jared Goff do his thing. I think Jameer Gibbs is one of those guys that you're going to see. You're going to get a lot of rubs to. Uh, you're going to get a lot of, of speed sweeps. You're going to get a lot of gadgets and then decoys off of it, uh, especially when Jamison Williams comes back. You think about those two out in the field together. I think it's going to be a very interesting time in Detroit. If there's important reports coming in that he's going to be the starting running back for them, David Montgomery's an extremely good back. Very good back. Extremely. He's a three-down back as well. I have I don't a hard think, time believing Jameer's going to be the starting I just don't, I don't I think, think Alabama's offensive line did Jameer gives justice last year. It's as good as a player that he is. Mm -hmm. This kid has, I'm out the door type of speed. Yeah. Like I am like on that Jama Williams type of speed. I think he's going to have a phenomenal year. I won't be surprised if we saw him some special teams game, but if he's right now if there's reports coming out that he's a starting back for them, he must be balling. Yeah. Because David Montgomery Montgomery was balling. And he came over from the Bears, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, both of those they guys are three-down backs, ball. and the Lions ran the ball well last year. Yeah. You know, they had the whole offense Pretty working. bounced. I mean, so, Amon Ross St. Brown out mm -hmm. there, too. We'll I mean, see how that one plays out. But if you want to take your style to the next level. Dressing for success can help that. you look better and be more confident. And our friends over at Indochino, they got the keys to the street when it comes to that. So whether you're attending an important meeting or networking event, or you simply want to impress your colleagues, our friends at Indochino have everything you need. And look, it's not just shirts. This isn't just the, the most fancy, the fancy that you can get. They literally have a, an option for every occasion. Barbecue, the tailgate, if you need blazers, if you need camp shirts, they have everything. David, you're big on them. Obviously, we all are. Yep. You had a nice little order. The ordering process was yep. easy, and you, you love to diversify your portfolio. When yeah, and the sizing is accurate. Look, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I can't just walk into any old place and get a suit that fits me. Yeah. Okay? They just don't make clothes that fit me like that. The <laughs> sizing is what was most important from Indochino. I got a light gray suit. They sit it to me. I love it. And then we also have, I have the... Um, dark green uh, button-down shirt, too, oh, yeah. that I love. I like the way that looks. So. You got the Fierce Tiger shirts, and, and listen, we know it's hot as hell out there in most places. Uh, they have really light clothing as well. So take your style to the next level with Indochino. Go to Indochino.com, use our code BOOSTER, that's B-O-O-S-T-E-R, to get 10% off any purchase, $399 or more. And I'm telling you, with what they offer and how expensive everything else is, 399 bucks for their product is not expensive at all, and you get that 10% off. That's I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O dot com. Use promo code Booster. All right, next one up, Zay Flowers with the Ravens. You've been I'm big on Zay you, Flowers, yeah, right? It's a problem, big, dude. Good. Like, even at Boston College, like, he was just, you could see every every Saturday he was the best player on the field most of the time. Mm -hmm. You got to think, what what have the Ravens added, right? You know, you sign Lamar Jackson, which is big. big. You bring Odell Beckham. Right, you Mark bring, Andrews you bring back. Mark Andrews. You have Zay Jones. Now you have layers of talent on your offense, not just certain guys that get keyed on the whole time. I think Zay Jones will be just involved in this offense almost as Mark Andrews is. Yeah, Zay, Zay Flowers. Anyway, Zay Flowers. Is um, I, here's what I like about Zay Flowers. He's he's quick. He's definitely athletic enough to play in the NFL. Obviously, he's got really good speed. What I like about Zay Flowers is his IQ. He's a guy, I think, that can run an option around as a rookie and, and be able to find space. He understands how to sit in zones. He understands how to work over the top, how to work underneath. I think his IQ level as a route runner is very, very high, and he's got huge-ass hands. And he can, like, he, I he's wouldn't be surprised hands. to see him playing in the backfield. <clears throat> he can do it do a bunch. I like his versatility. You see a lot with, with these guys up here, right? Going down the list, you look at what A-Chain's able to do. You look at what Jameer Gibbs is able to do. You look at what Zay Flowers is able to do. What I say is the best-tility? Versatility. Mm, Second two, 
fertility. That's a good, that's, that's a, a good very, one. very important one. Next one up, the number one overall pick, Bryce Young out of Alabama. Usually yeah. quarterbacks, you know, it's harder to make the top 10 list for breakouts because it's easier to have an impact as a rookie at the wide receiver, running back positions. But you think Bryce Young's going to really break out? This I year? think he's next level enough. Now, I know the Panthers don't have the most weapons around him, but I like the division that they're in. Um, I, I think he's going to have a chance to make some noise in that out of all the rookie quarterbacks that were taken. Duh, first overall pick. Probably should have the biggest impact. But typically, if you're the first overall pick, you're going to a team that's still probably not ready to win yet. Even though I do like what they've done bringing in Justin Houston on defense, I think there is some weapons around him that he can use. But Bryce is such a next-level anticipatory thrower. That's the difference in the NFL. Now, you got guys, and to quote Brian Dayball, you got guys that have door accuracy, and you got guys that got window accuracy. I think Bryce Young has window accuracy. But his ability to anticipate and his IQ, not talking about Zay Flowers, but the quarterback position, I think Bryce Young, that's why I'm so interested to see this preseason game, not just to see how accurate he's going to be with the ball. I can guarantee he's probably going to be pretty accurate. But I want to see if that anticipatory game that I saw in college is able to translate early into his NFL career. I think Bryce Young is going to be absolutely outstanding. You think so too? Yeah, I think the Panthers have an extremely sneaky offense. I mean, if you really look at it, I mean, Bryce at quarterback, Miles Sanders comes yep. over from the Eagles at running back. Adam Thielen from the Vikings, DJ Chalk Jr. from the Jags, Terrence Marshall Jr., who's only getting better from LSU, and your tight end's Hayden Hurst. Yeah. Right, so you have subtle good weapons on this offense. And experience. experience. And another good thing for Bryce, mm -hmm. who's his backup? Andy Dalton. Yep. There you go. All right, number three, Bryce's college teammate, Will Anderson Jr. with the Texans. What a great pickup. Yeah, I think he was the best leader that was taken in the draft. I think this was a great move. Uh, I think this has D'Amico Ryan's fingerprints all over it, the head coach there. Um, I think they brought C.J. Stroud in to be, uh, obviously, the quarterback, but he's not super vocal. I think that's something he's going to have to learn. I think Will Anderson Jr., um, and we were talking to a scout, uh, obviously, at SEC Media mm -hmm. Days, that said that th this pick wasn't just about Will Anderson's ability to rush the pass or stop the run. It's about being a leader. I think he's going to be the vocal leader of this team. When you look at the Texans, um, they do have a long way to go. But you do bring in CJ on one side. You bring in Will on the other. Will's versatility. We talk about the versatility of Zay Flowers and Jameer Gibbs and Devin A-Chain. Well, versatility matters on defense, too. Will Anderson, I think, defensively was the player that could do the most the best. Right? If I'm hiring somebody, I want to hire somebody that can do the most things the best. He can rush the passer. He can drop in coverage. He can box and spill the run if he has to. He can wrong arm guards, spill it, as, as we call it. And his IQ is out of this world. And he's, you don't got to worry about him off the field. Big Will Anderson, junior guy. I think that translates to on the field. Number two, Jackson Smith and Jigba with the Seahawks. Man, they've drafted so well. Yeah. And look, I mean, you look at the weapons that, that we, we talked about this with Quentin Johnston. But Something about Smith and Jigba is his acceleration, his his side to side, his lateral movement, and his ability to catch the ball away from his body at such a great rate. Geno Smith seems to fi have figured it out. You add him to an offense that has DK Metcalf. You look at what they have in the backfield with Kenneth Walker, Tyler Lockett's coming back, who's this you know consistent as it gets out there. Uh, I think Jackson Smith and Jigba has a big year. I think he has a real big year. Same. Seahawks is such an interesting <clears throat> team, I mean, especially what Geno did last year. I think Geno's going to have another good year. I don't think it's going to be as good. Um, but their receiver core is deep. Jackson's a special player. Um, I just worry about the Seahawks up front on the offense. Mm -hmm. I always worry about them because they got the Geno. got the Geno a lot last year. So, I mean, from a depth standpoint, they're extremely good. He, he is a... He can do it all from the short to the medium to the long route. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But this next guy you're about to bring up, I'm telling you. Number one, B. John Robinson out yeah. of Texas. Uh, uh, there's a reason Falcons. you take a running back. Uh, uh, and he's uh, calling him a running back's disrespectful. He's just a football player. That's what, that's what he is. You can probably put him on defense. You can probably put him mm -hmm. to safety and he make plays. Um, I think there are very few times when you draft a running back at that spot. I think this guy is generational enough to do it. I, I think he's an incredible player. Now, I think Desmond Ritter is overrated. I don't think Desmond Ritter is going to end up being the guy in Atlanta. But he is, he is a guy that you can build an offense around at the running back position. You can flex him out wide. You're going to see them do everything. You're going to see Arthur Smith use him in as many ways possible. I, I can't say enough about the guy. I love his attitude, and he's physical. That's the thing. He's not yeah. some pretty boy. Well, he can do it all. He you know, pretty boy, the city boy out here. He's trying he to run, run guys over, you. too. He's a three-down back. <clears throat> he can do the wow plays. He can make the normal plays turn into wow plays. The only thing I worry about for him is one Desmond Ritter in that uh, Atlanta offensive line. Yeah. It's not a great situation, but I'm sure you have a couple years to figure it out. He's going to be a special player in the NFL. I'm telling you, right now, if I had to pick three guys on that list, I'd pick, I'd pick Bijan, 
Bryce Young and Will Anderson. Yeah. Hmm. And Zay Flowers, close. I close. like that. A couple honorable mentions here. Jalen Hyatt with the Giants. Yeah, I got to see it. I got to see him as a route runner. Yeah, we got to see a route runner, but uh, showing, I mean, incredible speed already, yeah, like he's breaking a long NFL records. He gets, records, going. You know? yeah, he gets um, going. Jordan Addison with the Vikings, mm-hmm. you know, I think is going to break out too. And then you were talking about Seattle offensive weapons. Sure, they draft man. Zach Charbonnet out of UCLA for that one two so punch backs. with Kenneth Walker. I love the strategy. I love this. No, I do too. Draft I mean, them up hell, early. I want all you know, players to be good. Yeah, so I don't know. It, it's going to be a great NFL season. Kenneth Walker, dude. Kenneth Walker's nasty. It's really good. It. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking us out. Do us a favor. We are almost to 100,000 subs. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn those notifications on. We'd really appreciate it.